It's time to find out how broken HRE are. Give me Spears versus Ona Begisha. We are on a claustrophobic and uncomfortable map. One and all, welcome back to the competitive Age of Empires for action. We are here with the Season 9 preview for a showdown between B on the HRE and Anatans on the Japanese. Ninth game. They've been going at it. And so far, Anatan has got the big slab advantage in this play all nine. There's still one more game to be played. One opportunity for B to middle finger and strike back here. HRE, an absolute classic on this map. Powerful for obvious reasons. The relics so safe, Regnet seems almost impossible not to get. The Japanese have never been seen before on this map. This is the first time Japan has ever been played on mountain clearing competitively. It's time to find out what they got. So, whoopsie. Smash my keyboard while I'm at it. Uh, we got Deer Gathering to begin with. Moves out of the house. Love this little detail. Remember, your houses need to be placed anyway, and they are a food drop-off building. So already getting the better rate. He needs it as well because B rushed out with the prelate onto the boar. It's not ideal having six villages being buffed by a prelate because this guy can buff nine, but you don't want to pull more villages than this. It just feels a little bit subpar, right? Like you'll have all this food, but you'll be lacking on the gold and the wood timing. So this is all about B finding that perfect balance on eco between food and gold for attack up. I think it should align quite nicely here. Oh, did we do predictions? We did, right? This is for this series, I'm pretty sure. We just popped them up. So Coca Township on the way. You know, I, I think Coca's the meta now, guys. Holy truly, like even on season eight, you guys should be going Coca now in a lot of matchups. Kuro Storehouse is not the be all end all. The buff of 20 resources left, uh, less and a three second production speed buff to the Japanese was good enough for this landmark in conjunction with the fact that Daimyo Mana is more affordable. In fact, one thing I'm expecting to see soon is Katana Bannerman. I think Katana Bannerman is being slept on. Uma Bannerman is kind of obvious. We've seen Yumi Bannerman looking good, but what's really cool about Daimyo Mana into Rax here is the Katana Bannerman gives 15% more damage to a unit that has 20 base damage. You heard that correctly. So that means you're getting free extra melee damage on a Shinobi. <laughs> we are getting the vibe work build from B. Wait. Does the timing work here? This is too slow. This has to be too slow. Yeah, he's going to have to rush an outpost. He knows it. Good read by B. I, I don't even feel like you need to be doing this in the center of the map. This is insanely greedy. Who loves me? People? Maybe? I think. Now, that was very mature of me to swat it away. I could have answered with your mum. I'm going to stop now. Outpost is being rushed by Anatan's villagers. What? This feels so unnecessary. Maybe the timing makes sense. Sabotage is going to be thrown in there. Good burn damage, but he needs to be killing the villagers. But he just doesn't want to allow the tech up. And it's working! Oh my god, B! What an insane game to end this! Shinobi stabbing away at the villagers. There's no reaction to insta snipe him down. Almost gets another worker kill. But Anatan gives up! What is happening? I can't believe this. Anno, he had too much gold, not enough food. He had no more ninjas coming. If he'd actually adjusted his macro there, that would have been perfect. And yeah, this is crazy. No one lost a villager. The free shinobi goes down. But all villagers are still alive in this game. After, I think that might now be the most chaotic start to this series. And by the way, folks, if you haven't caught the early games, check the VODs. Because this is either the third or the fourth time I've said the most chaotic start to the series. <laughs> So, Feudal Age has been reached. Deep breaths. <sighs> Woosa. Woosa. We're there. What I'm not sure about is how the hell all Pike Spearmen beat Shinobi. I think B has to rush Castle Age. Which feels horrible. Because he just built a mine work. 
<laughs> Winston, I think you may have just come up with the YouTube title. <laughs> I mean, it's not every day you see a mid-map mine work. Even on mountain clearing. So, Anatand, is this just a castle race now? Or do you just keep adding units? Because you could just try to burn down the outposts. Looks like there's going to be a dive coming in. Too many villagers in the area, so he's going to shoot you through. Oh, he gets baited! Not good. Really not good here. The prelate snipe would be huge, though. If you can get it. Oh, the garrison time on that! Mid-swing B. He gets in. And now we begin the game of Ring of Ring of Roses. Shinshin's on cooldown, so that should be another Shinobi going down. No, he gets away on 5 HP. That's crazy from both players. I can't believe it. Still no worker kills. Shinobi have been lost, though. I think that is the third Shinobi plus the scout. Actually, no, it's two Shinobi, right? He lost two. Yeah, two Shinobi and a scout. Hence the 270. He gets the snipe, though. Prull it down. He's not going to get away with that. Shinobi is going to die for it. But you know, in a way, that's an even exchange in terms of cost. One Shinobi is 100 resources. A Prull is 100 resources. But that's now one less villager that B has. So if you can keep replicating that, it's actually worthwhile. What a crazy game. And look at the difference now. Alatan is pulling ahead. B, this, this idle time really hurt him. Great micro, right? But you had eight villagers plus a prelate playing Ring of Ring of Roses. They weren't gathering food on a superior gathering rate. So he should have been tech ahead with the 40% buff, the better gathering rate on board than deer. Castle should have been coming first for him. It's not the case in this game. Anatan done enough here, even though he lost a lot of units in the process. It looks like we actually have a daisy chain here for e-repairs. <laughs> Why? I can't have them kill my mind work. The game would be over. And Anatan now giving B a taste of his own medicine. We've actually got another temple of equality. Oh my god, this landmark. Another villager gets found. Shunshin in. Great strike there. In fact, if he attacks the scout quickly, too late now, I think. You could actually kill the scout, guys. I'm not even memeing. You do 25 damage per strike and you both have heal. But yeah, Anatan, I don't think he realizes it. In fairness, you can actually just survive because you have more heal than you take damage. <laughs> this is the saddest scout I've ever seen. He's like, just, just one more touch. Just a, one, one more touch. But, but, my, but my pony's quicker. <laughs> Not quicker than my med tech. Oh my god. Temple of Equality about to complete though, guys. Now, do we get Samurai? I think so. It's a short enough map, right? Matt Samurai feel better on bigger maps. I don't think you go Yumi. Oh no, he has. He's already got stables. It's Mount Samurai again. So we've seen this be pretty popular. It's bold against all pikes, though. Like, B should be prepping Raxes right now. With... Are we about to get mass Healy boys on both sides with Knights? Because if we are, B is going to end up staying at two points and Anatan's going seven. Mount Samurai already beat normal Knights one on one. But now you've got the So High Sutra. Decreasing your base damage by 50%. Uh, you know, I'm all on board for the B train. There's some fun ways along the way, but I just looked forward and the train driver's drunk and we're about to head off the tracks and into a river with a 60-foot fall. I, I'm going to go ahead and get off at the last stop here. This does not work. B, he's in trouble. Maybe he thinks he can hunker down here. It's going to be difficult, though. Uma Banham is already there. Remember, you can prep him ahead of the age if need be. He's going to dive in. Prelate will be able to garrison one relic, but will instantly die. TC is going to get garrisoned. Undermesh is now on the way, so he'll be able to park himself here for a while. He goes in for the yoink! Not quite able to get it. This is unheard of. This is so difficult to do on a map like Mountain Clearing. If he gets another monk here, though, it's done. 
and it will be Monk S. Mine won't boost knights. Or what, you mean the steel barding? Two melee armor still doesn't compare. The Japanese have an additional melee tech and they have Uma Bannerman. You're losing that fight every day of the week. You know that scene in the other guys where it's like the tuna versus the lion? He's like, you lose that fight. Nine times out of ten, you lose that fight. It's that. All right, use the, eight, use the HRE or a lion that has just jumped into the middle of the Atlantic to fight a school of tuna. And they will not be turned into sushi in this one. So, relics are at least going to be safe at home. In fact, B, he gets the majority. So, three relics to two. And that is regnant, so six relics effective to two. There is still a window here for Anno, though. If he waits too long, yes, B will just have better economy. However, Anno has sniped two workers. It's actually free because the prelate was lost, so he had to rebuild out the TC. It's not Arkin, so you have to keep building prelates. You can at least do that, but it's, it's, you know, the efficiency of going farms is weirder. And also, on top of that, so high Sutra. If B just scales knights, he's likely to lose this unless he can survive like 15 minutes, right? We've got marching now. Fortifications on the way, but he's going to need to use E-repairs. I don't actually think it's even worth the E-repairs here, which means the Relic! Don't mind if I do. Wait, did... <gasps> oh, no! Wait, would that have even been in range? I think it would have been tight here. No, it was definitely in range. Look, look, you can see. It, like, well, you can't see it, because haha. Ha. Uh, it says requirement structure damage. He has E repairs. He just didn't use it. Oh, no. Knight goes down as well. We have Onimusha. I wasn't there in time. Okay, thank you, Fat Lop. So he done this really early with the double house. He just forgot about this one. He never even built the stables completely. But that's incomplete as well. It's scramble rain, man. I, Anatan's on point. Oh yeah, yeah. Knights diving in. This is not a fight you ever win. B, uh, this actually might be a very quick game now. Props to them for hanging in there to try and make comebacks, but this one is unrecoverable. Not to mention the Shinobi in this, like they are actually subtly assassins, as you'd expect. 29 damage is too much, and GG gets called. Mountain clearing with an insane opening to this game. Green micro by both, but a cleaner and clearer execution for Castle by Anatant.